hello everyone in this video we are going to see about how to create a AutoCAD classic workspace new any kind of workspace is a, means any kind of template it's okay to create a workspace so till 2014 AutoCAD have a workspace called classic after drafting an annotation a name called a workspace called classic is available till 2014 AutoCAD 2014 after 2014 from 2015 onwards they deleted the classical workspace if you want the classical workspace means we used to create it ourselves only that was i am going to teach you in this video first i am going to tell about the ribbons first so what is the ribbon ribbon is the mixed version of toolbars and main menu bars instead of two input methods they combined into a ribbon a single method to combine the toolbars and main menu bars so nowadays we have two methods only one is command prompt method another is ribbon so the basic thing is ribbon have each every command icons in it for example he differentiate each and every category for example to create means drawing to modify means modify commands to create a text or dimension means annotation if you want to use it to uh, multiple layer means you have layer options like each and every these are the main commands which is shows bigger the smaller icons are semi level commands which use occasionally rarely use commands are in the drop down arrow so if you want to find it means you used to use the drop down arrows to find it if you want to fix this command means you used to pin it here like this it means it won't hide inside so if, if you don't want means you can hide it then if you want to control if you want add a tab or add a panel means right click this go to show tab so if you want to add a tab means for example here we don't have any 3d tools tab if i click this means a 3d tool uh, tab will create in this 3, 3d tool tab i have many things for example modeling solid editing surface section selections like that but for my environment i need only the modeling commands i no need for any solid editing or surface meshing means i can deselect it here so in this I can command, I can create my very own version, I can modify whatever things I need in this ribbon, whatever tab I need, in that tab, whatever panels I need, I can control it. Now we move on to how to create a classical workspace. For that I used to close this ribbon. How can we close it? We can do it simple like pressing right click here and close it. If we want again to reopen the ribbon means I type it ribbon. So if you want to close it in command means ribbon close. If you want to control the tabs everything in ribbon means again we go to ribbon command first then ribbon 
plus so we can add a id or tab anything we want we can see about this elaborately in future videos now we move on to how to create a classical workspace i close the ribbon environment so this is a empty workspace now i am going to create a or uh, i used to modify a workspace into classical workspace it means i used to add a main menu bar and toolbars because already basic method is basic method of input is common prop method already here next thing is toolbars and main menu bars to enable the main menu bars i click here show main menu bar so i got the main menu bar once i got the main menu bar it's easy for me to uh, enable the toolbars i'm go to tool in toolbar i can enable this so first thing is drawing so i can enable the drawing command so in ribbon for example i type ribbon see in ribbon they have many commands compared to this here we only have drawing this much drawing commands but we have here we have drawing commands obviously annotations and tablets everything we going to need for a drawing basic thing we need to use in a drawing means we have in the toolbar that's why many people like toolbars other than main menu bars and closing it once i got my toolbar menu here means i right click it i can add on by one for example i need a modification means modify toolbar i got it so what are the basic toolbars we need it will automatically set into its origin positions like this so if you add a non origin things for example in uh, mostly in basic classical version you not see this tab inquiry tab in this basic environment so it will present outside this tab position toolbar tab positioning so it is outside if you want to move means we press here we drag it and put it wherever we want if we want it in vertical means we can place it here also for so based on the spacing i fix it here in classical version we can as say it as a simple and elegant version to use whatever the command main commands we need it have here so using this command we can create anything additionally for detailing we need detailing toolbar in this case we can say its name is dimension so i am closing this one i am adding this one so i consider these are the basic thing i need for my classical workspace so i'm going to use this kind of workspace for my projects for example i'm going to do a 100 or 200 projects using this workspace means i can't create this workspace each and every time so i used to save it for that i go here workspace i can save it using save current as here's i'm going to give a name classic so 
so it will save as a classic if i go on to drafting and annotation means it change into normal bin format if i want to have old classical humans i can click here so my customized classical version will appear okay if you want to see the name elaborately means you can activate this display workspace label so we can see the label here if you no need means you can deselect it so these are the basic things you need to know before we're going to enter to elaborated AutoCAD commands so if you see this two video continuously means you can get a rough idea about the workspace the command toolbox ribbons everything so when I am teaching you each and every command I can explain you about this detailly and the purpose of it also if you like this video please comment share and don't forget to subscribe it thank you